Our job is to factor x squared plus 7x plus 12. Now this is just a scheme to show you how to get the factors and their signs correct. First time we do this, we're going to color code everything, and then we're going to do it exactly like we would do it on our paper without color coding. So now we've rewritten the expression, each of the different parts in different colors. And our goal is to go from here to x, x. Each time we would draw a little table like this, making sure that x is under x. And we'll show you how to make that table as we go along. First thing we do is this sign that's right here, we write it right there. So we just bring that sign directly down. Same thing here. This is That sign comes directly down. This number comes over here, 7, and because we need to use factor pairs, 12, this number comes here. So we've used all of the information from here. Plus came down, plus came down, the middle coefficient came over here, and the constant coefficient down here. Step number one, what sign times plus equals plus? And the answer is plus. So that's step number one, is these, this sign times this sign has to give me this sign. Now we're ready to start looking for factor pairs. Our first factor pair is 1 and 12. 1 times 12 is 12. This tells me here that we're going to add the two numbers. 1 plus 12 is 13. That's not equal to 7. We want to know if it's equal to 7. So we're looking to see if this is equal here, and it's not equal. So now we look for the next divisor of 12 after 1. That would be 2. 2 divides 12. 2 times 6 is 12. This says add them. That's 8. That's not equal to 7. The next divisor of 12 would be 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 plus 4 is 7. That's good. So, we're done. Now we just have to read our answers off. We have plus 3, so we write plus 3, and we have plus 4, so we write plus 4. That's it. Now we're going to do the same thing, factor x squared plus 9x minus 70. So let's bring in our color-coded version of this, x squared plus 9x minus 70. And we bring in our little scheme and parking x under x. So then, what's the first thing we do? We bring down the sign, so that plus goes down there. This sign is now minus, so we put the minus there. This number comes over here. And the 70 comes down here for working for factor pairs. Our first step, what sign times a plus gives a minus? This is going to be minus this time. So that's our first step. So now we look at 1. 1 times 70 is 70. But now we need the difference here. So this sign says we need to make the difference. This sign here means difference. So what's the difference between 70 and 1? 69. But it's not equal to 9, so that's no good. 2 divides into 70. 2 goes 35 times. The difference is 33. That's not 9. 3 goes into 70. Nope, so we don't use 3. 4 goes into 70. No, so we don't use 4. So now we're up to 5. 5 goes into 70 14 times. 14 times. 14 minus 5 is 9. That's exactly what we want. So, now we're done because we found the one we want, and we simply read off our scheme. So we have x minus 5, x plus 14, and we are done. Again, we're to factor x squared minus 4x minus 45. This time we're going to do it with one color, just like we would do it on our own page. I am not, however, going to try to draw these lines. So, 
this line comes under here because that's where the multiplication sign is. This is multiplication equals, and we always have a 1 here. So those are the three things we add. x under the x equals under here, 1 there. So what do we put in? We put this minus sign down here, this minus sign down here, and then we put the 4 over here, and the 45 down here. So we're ready to work. And so the first thing we do, like we said, we say what times minus equals minus, and the answer is plus times minus equals minus. 1 times 45 is the 45. We're looking for the difference. This is 44. It's not equal to 4, so we don't put that in there. Does 2 go into 45? No. Does 3 go into 45? Yes. So 3 goes into 45 15 times. The difference between 15 and 3 is 12. That's not right. It's not 4. Does 4 go into 45? No. 5 goes into 45. 9 times. 9 minus 5 is 4. That's the one we're looking for. So our answer is x squared minus 4x minus 45 equals x plus 5 x minus 9. And we are done. Here is our fourth problem. Factor x squared minus 14x plus 45. Bring in our little table. You would draw it. First line under the x. So write a multiplication sign here, an equal sign here, and a 1 here. Now we start to fill in. The minus comes down here, minus sign. The plus sign comes down here. 14 goes over here, and 45 comes down here. We have filled everything in. Now our question is, what times minus equals plus? Well, minus times minus equals plus. So now we've got our signs. 1 times 45 is 45. This tells us we add them. So this is 46, not equal to 14. 2 doesn't go in, so we don't use 2. 3 goes in. 3 goes into 45 15 times. We're adding, so 18, not equal to 14. 4 doesn't go into 45. So now we're up to 5 and 9, and when we add those, we get 14, so we're done. So we have x squared minus 14x plus 45 equals x minus 5, x minus 9. Done. And that's our scheme for how to find the factors and their signs.